Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning on our prayer request today. Pray for Laura Hernandez. She needs healing of her back and prayer for family problems. Fauzia has an unspoken prayer request. Pray for Karis. She's having problems with her legs. Um, there were no survivors on the submarine. Please pray for the families for comfort and peace. Pray for Jessica Dixon. She's financially struggling and her family is too. Pray for Lena. She fell and hurt her hip and hit her head. Also pray for her daughter. She's having bad headaches. Pray for Alan. He's in the hospital for IV chemotherapy. His doctor said this is a last resort treatment. Pray for Destiny, Tyler, Brexton, and Brayden. Brexton was diagnosed with COVID and now Brayden has a fever. Pray Brayden, the baby, doesn't get COVID and that they all will be okay. Pray for Penny's dearest friend. She's in a bad situation. Pray God will protect her. Okay. All right. Our scripture of the day today comes from Proverbs 25, 18 through 23. Like a club or a sword or a sharp arrow is one who gives false testimony against a neighbor. Like a broken tooth or lame foot, it's reliance on the unfaithful in a time of trouble. Like one who takes away a garment on a cold day or like vinegar poured on a wound is one who sings songs to a heavy heart. If your enemy is hungry, give him food to eat. If he is thirsty, give him water to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head, and the Lord will reward you. Like a north wind that brings unexpected rain is a sly tongue which provokes a horrible look. Okay. All right, let's get a drink of water. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, Heaping Coals on Enemies. Dan endured daily beatings from the same prison guard. He felt compelled by Jesus to love this man, so one morning before the beating was about to begin, Dan said, Sir, if I'm going to see you every day for the rest of my life, let's become friends. The guard said, No, sir, we can never be friends. Dan insisted and reached out his hand. The guard froze. He began to shake, then grabbed, grabbed Dan's hand and wouldn't let go. Tears streamed down his face. He said, Dan, my name is Razak. I would love to be your friend. The guard get, didn't beat Dan that day or ever again. Scripture tells us, if your enemy is hungry, give him food to eat. If he is thirsty, give him water to drink. In doing this, you will heat burning coals on his head, and the Lord will reward you. The coals, imaginary may reflect an Egyptian ritual in which a guilty person showed his repentance by carrying a bowl of hot coals on his head. Similarly, our kindness may cause our enemies to become red in the face from embarrassment, which may lead them to repentance. Who is your enemy? Who do you dislike? Dan discovered that the kindness of Christ was strong enough to change any heart, his enemies and his own. We can too. What kind of act might you do today to heat burning coals on your enemy's head? How might you pray specifically for them? Dear Jesus, I praise you that your kindness leads me to repentance and inspires me to be kind to my enemies. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. And Lord, now I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great morning. I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.